I want to narrow something down, which I'm 100% certain many of you, I say many, a select few of you that is, will understand where I'm coming from. Dating involving both man and woman. The reason as to why God's chosen struggle with accomplishing their goal and their dream involving a sexually pure feminine woman slash marriage is due to the fact that we have to put in the work psychologically and spiritually to manifest as well as attract it to bring it forth within our reality which isn't of the world's reality it's of God's kingdom and his reality and this is why so many people in today's society struggle with dating on a whole it is due to the fact that they believe wholeheartedly believe that is that they can live a double minded life and live like a degenerate polite way word isn't it and expect to find someone of high value whether you're a man or a woman it doesn't matter that's not going to happen essentially that's like finding a wild snake and expecting it not to bite you do you realize how dumb that sounds the snake's gonna bite you regardless and behind that motto is a hidden treasure that not many people in this world know about because they're so brainwashed and conditioned into believing that the only way that they can fill that void when it involves dating is by pretty much getting with every Tom, Dick and Harry. When in reality, they're just signing their own death warrants more and more and more and more as time goes along. And that is the wrong way to go. Talking from past experiences, I've struggled, or should I say I've struggled with dating for give or take the best part of just over three years I would have thought just over three years but I'm also beginning to attract sexually pure feminine women along my journey and why do you think that is people in a non-prideful tone, that is. Why do you think that is? Because I am willing to put in the work in here and in here, that is. Which many of you are afraid to do. So, essentially, you've thrown in the towel and you've convinced yourselves that in order to fill that void, you have to attempt and steal spiritually that is steal from god's chosen and then you wonder why you wonder why you're so crushed and defeated and you're so alone and the more you keep up with these games the less and less and less and less people you have within your life as well as circle to the point where dysfunction rules you, Ment mentally that is, and spiritually. 
And then it's all emotions and feelings with people. That's because you lack Jesus Christ. You lack the presence of Jesus Christ, who so happens to be God the Father incarnate. And if you are chasing worldly possessions, if you are forcing connections with people, they're not going to work. Because you're giving off the signal that you're needy, essentially, and that you want, 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 want. And that's not healthy. That right there is a soul tie. It is a trauma bond. And if you can't cut that trauma bond and that social tie off, you're forever going to remain within a loop over and over and over and over again to the point where those of you involved are going to drive yourselves absolutely insane. So believe you me when I say this, I know many aren't and I also know a select few are. It is what it is. If you are struggling within the dating game, that's because you don't have God the Father and His Son Jesus Christ within your, within your lives, that is. You are merely operating, or should I say you're operating from your pride and ego. You are essentially... Trapped and enslaved within the self-made movement. It's all about self. Oh, if I want this, then I'm going to steal it. Or if I want this, I'm going to take it. Or I mowed this, I mowed that. Oh, she owes me this, he owes me that. Give, 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 give. And people wonder why. People are beginning to lose interest within them. And their circles are growing smaller and smaller and smaller all the more. Why do you think that is? You so happen to have a hidden treasure within inside of you. And that hidden treasure... Is God the Father and His Son Jesus Christ via the heavenly kingdom. And the only way anyone, and I mean anyone, can have a successful dating life is by accepting their calling. By accepting that they are not going to get through life alone within the self-made movement. They never have and they never will. And that marriage is only made possible through God the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. It is what it is, people. Don't shoot the messenger. Take it up with God the Father upstairs Himself and His Son, Jesus Christ. And when I refer to the upstairs, I'm talking about the clouds the sky, as you will, the atmosphere even, because he's everywhere if you think about it, by the Holy Spirit's presence, he's omnipresent, therefore all prayers are heard, and all prayers are answered within his divine timing, so, I mean, at the end of the day, people have free will, they can do as they will with their free will. You can use your free will to hearken onto my voice and reflect on this all the more. Seek after the Holy Spirit as well as apply the gospel to your life. Or you can choose to unacknowledge my voice, unacknowledge the, um, unacknowledge the Bible. Reject God the Father and His Son Jesus Christ, as well as the Holy Spirit's presence. And then go running along to Mummy and Daddy later, 
complaining as to why your life isn't going anywhere. Which is what a lot of people do essentially nowadays. They're so caught up. They're so conditioned and brainwashed into living within their feelings and emotions when they can't get their own way. It is what it is, people. I didn't create. You know, this way in living, I didn't create it. I was merely given a choice. I could have chose to reject where I'm heading now. Although a lot of psychological work and a lot more spiritual work is needed. I could have declined this calling. I could have gone, do you know what? <laughs> Jog on God. Jog on Jesus Christ. Why do, I, why do I need any of you? I mean, why do I need you? My life's good as it gets. You know, it's as good as it gets. I have everything I need. I have tens of thousands of friends. I have hundreds of thousands of girlfriends. I have all the money in the world. I could have chose to rebel at any given moment. I could have even chose to become disobedient and become just another statistic when it involves lost and damned souls. I may have even fell a few times, backslidden in the past. But I always choose to get up on my feet and I always choose to keep pushing forward, regardless what the world puts me through. Because I believe if you don't have the warrior spirit within you, if you don't have the spirit of God within you, you're always going to fail. This includes your life on a whole, the gift of marriage. And don't get it twisted, people. The devil's not just after your spiritual blessings. He is after your worldly possessions too. Finances. He's after your material possessions. And whatever else he can get his grubby little hands on. And you've got to have that mentality where you're like, okay... All right, you moron, bring it on. You're in front of the kind of whoop ass if you think that you're gonna take anything of mine because I will stop at nothing until I have taken everything away from you. And if I have to, I will kick you so hard in your balls, you're gonna be singing like Michael Jackson all the way back to hell. Come at me. Try it. Try it, Satan. Try it. And you see just how powerful God the Father's presence really can be. If people think for one minute that their demonic influences believe that Jesus Christ is this unconditionally loving and forgiving, graceful, merciful... God, or should I say figure as you will, which again he is, I'm not disputing it if, he, if, if people think that that's all Jesus Christ is, you're sadly mistaken and you are in for one rude awakening Jesus Christ got wrath with the wicked whenever it was merited and he's also been known to plant fear within people just by walking in a room alone like that, without even sharing a word It is what it is. So don't get it twisted. The only way, like I said, people are going to succeed within the dating game is by allowing God the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ, within your hearts and your minds. Thus, within turn, breathing life into your souls, making you a new within God's image via Jesus Christ's ways 
it's going to be difficult for a lot of people. Some of us have what it takes to wait however long is needed in order to manifest what we want. Some people break at the last minute. They go back to their old chasing habits when it involves the opposite sex, both man and woman. And then they complain and complain and complain why their relationships fail. I've already told you, and I can't stress it enough, you don't have God the Father and his son, Jesus Christ, within your life. You are essentially operating through your pride and ego. And it's only going to get worse. It's not going to get better, it's going to get worse for any of you that live within this type of mentality. If you want to attract better, you have to put in the psychological and spiritual work to manifest better. It's not good, you know, it's not just going to fall out the skies and land on your lap. You have to put in the work. And like I said, it's bound to get bloody sometimes. It is also bound to be very testing, very challenging. But amidst all of that is a strength. A strength that the world has rarely ever seen. Due to all of the darkness that's currently blinding people's lives right now as we speak. And that strength is inhuman. It is, I would say supernatural, but it's not. It is a strength not of this world. A strength that actually, in fact, over powers adrenaline as a matter of fact it is 100 times potent than adrenaline and this strength is of god we're not going to get it any other way it doesn't matter how many times you fall on your ass and how many times you come close to throwing in the towel that could be the answer for anyone and everyone talking from past experiences as you could see here I've had my nose fractured I had two choices that night I could have chose to mentally snap there and then picked up 2.5 weight plates and caved the guy's head in like a battered watermelon splattered all over the floor non-stop or I could have chose to have walked away keeping my dignity intact showing him that I'm the bigger man but unfortunately due to him the way that he's treated me all of these months after everything that I've done for him and the fact that he was extremely verbal towards me I chose to get a few shots in of my own but the difference between myself and him I wasn't intent on causing him any harm they were warning shots to throw him off guard like I said, I could have chose to mentally snap and give the devil what he wanted. All for what? Congratulations. If I had mentally snapped, the devil would have won. I would have lost my salvation and I would have fallen from under God's grace for murdering another human being. Even though... I few, uh, like I said, I threw a couple of warning shots in of my own. 
not to necessarily cause him harm, but to throw him off guard. I was still in control. I was still in control. I was in the present. And that's what people need to focus on. You need to focus on being within the present. And no matter how tough life gets, no matter what people put you through on a regular basis, whether it's psychological, spiritual, or even physical for that matter, you have to remain... What's the word I'm looking for? In control. You have to remain in control at all times. Like I said, it's going to get really, really tough, especially towards the end days. The devil is going to push you in ways you couldn't even begin to possibly imagine. He's going to use anybody he possibly can to try and crush not only God's chosen ones that have a soul that is so powerful and so strong, it can't even be measured by the universe. He's going after the weakest ones as well that are currently trying to seek God as we speak. He's coming after everyone. He doesn't care. He hates God's creation. And he will stop at nothing until he has virtually destroyed everyone, um, everyone and anyone for that matter. You're allowed, like I said, to get hands on every now and again. Not to necessarily cause someone harm, but to throw them off guard. It's a greater good moment it's a great a good purpose but believe you me when i say this people you have to remain in control otherwise if you mentally snap and you go way 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 above the belt or below the belt even congratulations well done You've given the devil what he wanted. You've lost your salvation. And you've been kicked from under God's grace. For essentially. Either causing battery on another person. With the intent to kill. Or for killing someone there. Right there. And what is one of the ten commandments? Thou shalt not kill. And that is an abominable offence unto God the Father himself. It's grievous. I've said what I've had to say, people, involving the world that we live in. As crazy as it sounds, it is true. If you think for one minute that you're going to experience a successful dating life with a particular said man or woman within your own self-made cult movement rejecting both God the Father and his son Jesus Christ as well as grieving the Holy Spirit's presence by doing what you want to do you're in for one rude awakening I am telling you now you are in for one rude awakening and it is going to drive you absolutely insane. You may even lose your marbles, your brain, for a little while. It is what it is. But you can repair from it all. This is what I find fascinating about life. This is what I find fascinating about the human body on a whole. Human psychology even for that matter. No matter what the world puts you through. Physically, emotionally, psychologically, as well as spiritually. You could switch off from all of these. Challenge them into becoming more of a stronger person.